All right, guys, and welcome to this episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. And Andrew, and we got back with us. Sorry, we were laughing because Dr. D, what he said, a word that I've never heard. And, and uh, me and Andrew said we have to do an episode about it. So, yeah. Andrew. Well, we're going to talk about today something that I just learned about. Uh, which I and I think this is going to be helpful to all of you master debaters out there. <laughs> We're going to talk about <laughs> mindful masturbation. I, I love that term because I used it in another video and I said we have to talk about it because I think that most men would never think of it as mindful masturbation. So what does that mean? Uh, the study have shown actually being mindful is the key factor to achieve sexual satisfaction. So that's why when I treat with patients, a lot of time we have to have them do uh, exercise. And many exercises we have to do while they masturbate. So that's why, you know, I come up with this term like mindful masturbation is not only just to uh, masturbate to get pleasure, but also to aware about how their body and to be mindful about, um, you know, their, their arousal, their, their, their eroticism, all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy to hear this because we, we interviewed a, a sex therapist one time and she said that it's, 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 she can treat a solo but better to treat a couple. But this is something that a solo person, because not everybody has a significant other, and what do you do? If you have erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation, but you don't have a steady partner, you don't have, how do you work? So this is a great tool to offer patients uh, who are, well, in couple, but also who are solo. And, yeah. and even in couple, I'm pretty sure it's not something you want to like practice with, right? Like you said, it's the practice and the game, right? So that's really exactly. what it is. That's exactly. So I always told them, you know, if like that's when we masturbate, that's the best time to really understand us better, right? In partner sex, many times our mind is not there, is not on our body. But mindfulness masturbation is actually your concentration is fully on yourself. You know, I always told them there's four components you need to be aware. So you need to be aware what type of stimulation you like to get. You know, there are some people that like stimulation from the brain, you know, from the what we call psychogenic. And there's people they like to stimulate from you know, their genitalia, which is called reflexogenic. But many people, they are mixed too. So by knowing that, you, are, you understand what's the perfect stimulation for you to get aroused. And then we'll have to understand what's your body respond. So sex is not just your head erection. You have to know how your pelvic move. You have to know how your muscle tension build up. You have to know your heart rate, your breathing pattern. So this is like the whole body awareness. And it also bring their some their thought. So I always tell them, like I have a patient, uh, I think I treat like uh, quite recently. He has this erectile dysfunction for years. And one of the things when I ask him to do this mindful masturbation, he noticed that, oh yeah, because when I was, a, he said, when I was a, a teenager, once I masturbate, I called by my father. So this is a big trauma for me. So even right now, he start to aware that, oh, even masturbation, there are still the thought in the background. Yeah. And this is really a, a issue trigger his erectile dysfunction. So thought is a third component we need to, you know, like to understand like during masturbation. And the last one is how pleasure you feel, your, your emotion, what's, wh where you are. So that's the mindful masturbation. And don't see it as a, a mean to, you know, to the goal. I always tell them you can stop any point you want. And you, you can just start to stimulate yourself, get the circulation moves. There's a lot of health benefit just by increasing, you know, circulation to your, to your genitalia. So, um, and the patient love it. You know, they, they sometimes they say, uh, should I wait for my partner to have sex? I don't want to masturbate. That's, that's a wrong concept. I say, think about if, if you play football. You never practice. You think you can perform very well? <laughs> that's, that's, that's such a simple like exactly. analogy. You're right. So normally, I ask them to masturbate almost every day or every other day. So it's like they, they have <laughs> these guys are watching <laughs> this right now. They have okay. this, I like yeah. this guy. <laughs> no, they have this. But masturbation is gonna go up this year. <laughs> but the thing is, don't use. I tell them, don't always think ejaculation is your goal. Actually, they have sometimes they have to skip a few days to ejaculate. So. You know, just let them know this is your end goal. 
But during sex, you, you need to enjoy the whole journey. I, I feel like being a martial artist, I feel like I'm talking to a Zen master right now. <laughs> like, uh, like the Yoda, the, the Corona the, master. The Yoda, the Yoda of masturbation. <laughs> the Yoda of masturbation. I think you got it. Next time you're masturbating, you're going to think of, you, you know, Woody the, sitting on your shoulder. Uh, and, use the force. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's so amazing. And the, the only reason, I mean, I really found this interesting because it's, it's the first term I heard this. And I think that if men could connect with themselves more, and I mean, probably some men would be like, hey bro, you know, the, the, the regular man, I'm tough, uh, you know, uh, uh, I last an hour and I never have these issues, but it's more common than we think. And I think that we're conditioned, especially in today's society with porn and all the stuff they show on TV that, you know, we don't talk about that Zen way of being able to internalize it and know what's happening to your body. I think it's very interesting and I think that anybody could benefit from this for sure. Yeah, I mean, it goes with what I always say, you know, there's no bodily function that's more mind-body yeah. than sex, right? That's Digestion, amazing, yeah. uh, you know, being defecating, you know, what bodily function is so important, mind and body? And, and I think this is a great way of trying to, as you say, training, training is there's so much you can do by talking about it with the therapist, but how do you, you put that into practice? So it's interesting because you probably do see and hear a lot of stories that come out, psychological problems. You probably have to act as a therapist a little bit on the side when you're treating your patients, I would imagine. Yeah. So I think like, well, I'm a physical therapist. I think the performance part is always my starting point, but I was always, you know, my, you know, framework to talk about sex is like, is like a, we call pleasure. So there's P represent performance, and L represent libido, and E represent eroticism, and then the next is called auto eroticism, is just dedicated for masturbation. And then we have satisfaction, and then we have the uniqueness, and then we have R is you, relation. You made this up? Yeah. I, that's beautiful. <laughs> and then we have yeah, a relation. You need to, you need to make we, another graphics for that. I think yeah. you need a book. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then we have a relation, and the last I'm E take represent. <laughs> this is actually really good. And the last E represent equity, like people, you know, different orientation, sexual orientation, gender issues. We we'll have oh. to treat them as the same. Yeah. I think that's really interesting. Like I'm, said, I'm writing this down. I feel like I'm with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think it's a great approach for men to 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 also. I mean, this is why we have have the boss to talk about it, so men could be comfortable to talk about something like exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah, we need, we, you know, men don't have the tools yeah. for so much of what we live with. Yeah. And the more that we talk, and because, you know, half the things that we talk about on the show, I've experienced, Nick's experience, I'm sure all of us have experienced some sexual dysfunction. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it's rampant, it's, it's all over. And, you know, we need to really have the, the tools beyond just popping a blue pill yeah. to deal with these things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mindful Masturbation. Dr. D. Woody, thank you so much for coming on the show. Andrew, we're going to need new t-shirts yep. as well, guys. If you want to learn more, check out Dr. D. We'll put the link in the comment box. Uh, he's going to be in our men's health club. He's going to be live taking some questions and uh, we'll see you guys next week.